North Korean troops will become cannon fodder in Ukraine. Pentagon General. The Pentagon will monitor the possible movement of North Korean troops to Russia for their participation in the war in Ukraine. However, in the United States, they believe that these troops will become cannon fodder for the Ukrainian armed forces. This was stated by Pentagon spokesman General Patrick Ryder during a briefing. According to him, this is definitely something to keep an eye on. I think if I were in charge of North Korea's military personnel, I would question sending my forces as cannon fodder in an illegal war against Ukraine, Ryder said. He added that we have seen the losses of Russian troops. At the same time, the general emphasized that the United States will monitor this. Recall, North Korea and Russia have agreed to provide immediate military assistance to each other if either country faces an armed attack. The agreement, which President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signed, also includes cooperation on nuclear energy, space exploration and food and energy security, is one of Moscow's most high-profile moves in Asia in recent years. It is unclear how the agreement will affect Russia's war against Ukraine, which began with an invasion in February 2022. Washington and Seoul are increasingly concerned about deepening military cooperation between Russia and North Korea and accuse them of violating international laws by trading in weapons. Ukrainian officials said they found debris from North Korean missiles on their country's territory. Russia and North Korea deny any arms trade. In general, this is a military alliance agreement. This will be Moscow's first defense alliance outside the post-Soviet base, said Artem Lukin of Russia's Far Eastern Federal University. But the strength of any alliance is not what is written, and the mutual defense clause does not automatically mean participation in each other's wars, he said. It remains to be seen how far and how deep Russia and North Korea will go in their alliance relations this time. Will North Korean troops appear in Ukraine? Will Russia provide military assistance to the North Korea in possible clashes between the North Korea and South Korea over the disputed border in the Yellow Sea? Nothing is being considered now, Lukin said. Dagestan's Makhachkala city was flooded as a result of heavy rains. In some areas, there were difficulties in the movement of cars. Locals try to navigate flooded streets on surfboards. Currently, the city's utilities are fighting against the floods. Spring flooding caused by melting ice is a regular occurrence in some parts of Russia, but heavy rainfall, combined with abnormally warm spring weather. Recently, thousands more people have been warned to evacuate immediately in southern Russia, as two major rivers swelled beyond bursting point in the worst flooding in the area for decades. A state of emergency has been declared in multiple regions of southern Russia. Nature does not tolerate mistakes, Russian Emergency Situations Minister Alexander Kurenkov said. The flood situation can change rapidly, he warned. Чисто на сапах помахи. 